Hello friends, this is Love Raid Hitman. I got this video here that everybody's been wanting, how to build your drop suit. So I'm going to try and uh, hurry up and go through this real quick. Uh, I'm sorry I'm kind of late doing this video. I've got other things outside of video games that I have to do in my life. I remind everybody, uh, if you haven't played this game, please click the referral link that's in the description to where if you do plan on playing, you can create your character, get a bunch of... Uh, cool little items for free and that's the only way you can get them is through a referral link it doesn't have to necessarily be mine but a referral link and uh trust me it, it is well worth it so and i also want to tell everybody that's come over to the channel i do appreciate it and if there is anything that you guys want to see please do leave it in the description box i'll try and help you out any way that i can i don't make any money off these videos uh uh and I'm sure this is not the only way to do it. This is the way that I do it. I mean, you don't have to follow it this way. And I'm sure that there'll be people that'll say, you know, hey, you could do it a better way or an easier way. But this is the way that I'm showing you the easiest way that I can do it. Now, first off, I want to say that this class that I am, my job is a Sentinel. You can choose that. And I've played roughly two games. And I've got enough is to where I can do what I'm fixing to show you. And uh, you probably just want to play with your starter fits, your pre-fits, play a few games, play four or five, get you some ISK build up, and do not spend any SP or anything. And uh, once you do that, all you got to do is come down here to market. I want to show you what we're fixing to buy here. Go down to drop suits, go to assault, load, 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 load. We're going to get an Assault Type 2 suit. Starting out, getting straight into a Type 2 Assault suit is awesome, tell me. <laughs> I mean, th this is bread and butter right here. But you want to hit Triangle on your control pad. Okay, and that gives you a description. You want to press R2. It'll give you all the attributes. Gives you your fitting. The prerequisites. That's the main thing. On any item, you want to look at the prerequisites. Prerequisites. Wow, I can't even speak right. It says you're going to have Drop Suit Command Level 1. Called Dairy Assault Drop Suit Level 2. Okay, there's a check mark by Drop Suit Command Level 1. We already have that. There's an X by called Dairy Assault Drop Suit Level 2. That means we need to get that. And how you get that is it's a skill. And so what we're going to come back down here do is we're going to go to Character. Go to Skills. Here's your skills. We've got Drop Suit Command already Level 1. That was one of the prerequisites. We're going to press R2 and go to all skills. And we're going to come down here under Drop Suit Command. It says Caldari Assault Drop Suit. You've got to buy this skill book. Purchase and use skill book. Okay. It costs 425,000 ISK. Okay. So we're going to purchase that. Boom. And to get into that Type 2 Assault Suit, we've got to level it up twice. That's what it said. So we're going to open it up, upgrade the skill. It costs 49760 for one. Boom. We did that. Now we got to upgrade it one more time. It costs 149200 If you look up there in green, you look where it says skill points. It tells you how many skill points you have underneath of it. It's an unallocated 330000 You had a little more than that because I just spent some. But I'm going to upgrade it one more time. It costs $149,200. Upgrade skill. Continue. Yes. Boom. We've leveled that up twice. So it leaves us 180,000 skill points left. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the marketplace. Go back to drop suits. Go to assault. You're going to buy the assault type 2 suit. We're going to purchase it. We're going to purchase uh, 10 of them, okay? That'll get you started. Boom. We've got 10 of those assault suits. It says, would you like to access the drop suit fitting and equip this item now? I'm going to put OK. I guess we'll go to it right now, but I'm going to exit it. The way you go to your drop suit fitting is, is you go to fitting, drop suit fitting. <laughs> okay. Look for your, oh, I didn't put it up there. Wow. Here we go. Create new assault type 2. It's not going to show up that you've got an assault type two because these are already suits that you builds that you've already, that already come with this class. So you're going to go to create new, go to assault type two, and boom, we're starting on your build right here. You don't have none of this stuff right here. These are your highs. These are your lows. So L means rifle. So we're going to put a militia assault rifle. They already give you fifty of them. Boom. Put it right there. Let's see what we got here. Wow, Militia Shield Rechargers. That's a good item to have. I, I would put one there. 
and let's go to marketplace I'd rather use these in the type 2 suit right here uh, let me see here militia gear you want to use the militia gear because you can use it at any level regardless of the skill or whatnot uh, there's no no skill you don't need any skill points or no levels or anything you just use it you don't want to buy the yellow because that takes orum you want to buy the isk remember that just come down here and let's get shield regenerator let's get two shield regulators let's find the regulators where did they go to I can't even find it wow there we go we're gonna buy ten of those I'll put cancel because I'm gonna come over here I want to buy a couple more modules here let's see here where is the militia light damage modifier purchase a couple of those okay what that does is it gives you three percent damage extra Let's see what we got so far here go to fitting drop some fitting assault type 2 down here what I would do instead of using this right here the shield recharger I would put a militia light damage modifier <clears throat> and I would put another one there on this low side here I put militia shield regulator and what that does let's look at that it says it gives you 10 percent delay recharge so your shields recharge faster you double stack them you got 20 percent faster that your shields are gonna pop back into place put a grenade in there militia locust grenade I don't want a sidearm. And let's see what else we got here. Militia Nano Hive. What we're going to do is we're going to go to the marketplace. We're going to come over here to Militia Gear. We're going to go to Modules. Uh, nope, wrong one. Equipment my bad we'll buy 10 of these militia nano hives and what these do is when you throw them on the ground it replenishes your ammo or teammates ammo I'm gonna come back here go back down to the assault type 2 edit boom and there you go there is a there's a basic type 2 build which you don't have to use these light damage modifiers you know if uh once you get a little better at staying alive I would put those in but I would start off by running the shield rechargers which it's not gonna let us it's not gonna let us <laughs> replace this is where it gets tricky you gotta play around with stuff nope let's see if we take this off Aha! So you're not going to have a grenade, but you are going to have a steady supply of ammo from your nano hive. You're going to have a regular militia assault rifle, and you have two militia. This is going to be a popping suit. This is a duck and cover suit. You just get behind things once you get hit, hide from it, and your shields are going to come right back. This is a very solid suit right here. Uh, I recommend going straight into a type 2 assault suit. A lot of people don't. This is a shield tank. The other ones are armor variant where you have more armor than uh, shields. But uh, if you try this right here, I guarantee if you've been playing the game, this is going to this, this is gonna be a totally new experience. If you've got to restart your character because you've messed up doing everything, just to build this, I would do it. And uh, you can come back over to your skills. And the main things you want to work, work on with a type 2, in my opinion is you want to unlock shield boost let me find it here right there 
Shield Boost Systems. And what it does is it gives you a 3% to drop suit and vehicle shield recharge rate. So, you have Combat Engineering Level 2. You would unlock it. I don't even know if we got enough ISK here. We might. I doubt it. Let's see what we got here. I'm going to get it to level 2. Let's see if we got enough ISK for the skill book. Let's see. Oh, yes, we do. There we go. So, shield boost systems is very handy. That helps your, your shields just regenerate real fast. Uh, we're going to go back to current skills. Weaponry is always a plus. But you're running an assault rifle. I don't think you have enough to do that. But I'll also start off by putting into light weapon sharpshooter. And what that does is each level you level it up it gives you plus 5% to light weapon maximum effective range. So you get to shoot further. And uh, let's see what this amount is on that skill book. Yeah, we don't have enough for that. But uh, I would just, <clears throat> at that point right there, just save your SP. Don't spend any more of it. Just get some more ISK to where you can purchase that skill book, to where you can get one into it. The uh, light weapon sharpshooter. And, uh, man, I, just go from there. Ask me some questions once you do that, if you do that, you know, and once you save up some ISK and some SP or whatever, you know, if you need any ideals or whatever of how you need to, to further your suit as far as uh, the build. I mean, but actually, I mean, the build depends on your play style. This is my play style. This is how I build a Type 2 suit, and it's very easy to get straight into. And I hope this answers some questions, and I'm sorry it's not professional. You know, I don't have magical editing skills. I'm just a down-to-earth, straight-up, honest person, and uh, just trying to do this the best way that I can. So, like I said, if you guys have any questions, just put it in the comment section below, and I will try and answer you. And I do appreciate everybody that stopped by and uh, <laughs> checked out these videos and subscribed, and I'll do my best to try and help you guys out any way that I can. Like I said, I played two games, so and that was with the starter starter fits that they automatically give you so with that said i hope everybody has a wonderful day and i appreciate it thanks a lot